And now to someone, or is it something, that made a considerable impact on your screens earlier this year, heralded as the ideal TV presenter. He eats nothing, doesn't need paying, doesn't like holidays, and does what he's told. He's the first computer-generated TV personality, and the commissionaires found him hard to handle when he arrived at the theatre earlier on. Well, since then, wasn't that exciting, everybody? Since then, <laughs> he's been in his dressing suite, and I think he's now ready to appear. Do we have him now? Is he, do we, is he available? Do, don't rush him. If he's Fine, he's ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Max Headroom. Solicited testimonial, eh? Thank you, Max. Uh, solicited testimonial, big fella. <laughs> Hi, Terry, old sport, we meet at last. Oh, you arrived here safely, Max. Well, I was lucky to arrive at all, big fella. Those guys with the car didn't know what they were doing. They took me to three TV repair shops before I got here. You're keen on giving advice, Max. I often hear you give advice in your program. I hope you're not looking for any here, because, you know, it's a, it's a tough business, this. <laughs> <laughs> advice. You know, there's only one person I take advice from, Tara. And that's Vu. I mean, you've been doing interviews a long time. And I heard Vu were the one who talked King Canute out of his deck chair. <laughs> Seriously. How do you get your audience going? You mean tonight? <laughs> With considerable difficulty, sir. <laughs> now, now, Max, I started out as a disc jockey, so you can see what happened to me. Do you, I mean, oh. do you enjoy the videos that you play? Of course, of course. Huh? But I know how you get along. You're Irish. And I'm sure a little bit of the Irish charm would work for me. <laughs> <laughs> Down rainbows, <laughs> laughing in pools of Gaelic charm. <laughs> I've heard that's the way to get on. <laughs> and you're not doing badly, big fella. Good show, popular, successful. I mean, I don't like using the word rival. <laughs> but you know, I think I've actually got one. I mean, we even started the same way, didn't we? Yes. Well, I'm, as I say, I started out as a disc jockey. But uh, tell me this. Let, 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 that, the way you're turned out, I mean, I've often thought that you... It's pretty natty. It's a pretty natty suit that you're wearing there. Well, thanks. I'm not just a DJ. I just wear them. <laughs> My petite joke. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but the videos that I introduce, well, they're great fillers. You see, they give my audience a little bit of a breathing space in between bouts of me. Me. <laughs> It's a fairly nasty stutter you have there, Max. Oh, stutter. <laughs> oh, that's a harsh word for my tiny little burble. Hez, 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 But what's wrong with a little voice problem, huh, big fella? It's the way to get on. Mrs. Thatcher's got that voice that's getting lower all the time. I think it's her batteries. <laughs> my stutter's become part of my... Style. I love style, Terry. Clothes are very important, I find. Yes, I was just going to say, I mean, I, I did say earlier, you look, you look pretty natty. I mean, you're, you're a pretty well-turned-out guy, aren't you? <laughs> That's uh, you don't color. mind my saying so. No, no, keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had this made especially for moi, and I wouldn't dream of wearing anything off the peg. Sounds as if you've pinched it from a washing line, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I like to wear something that gives my show pizzazz. Zap. Razzmatazz. And lots of other words with Zs in them. <laughs> you see, in my position, I've got an image to think of, big fella. Yes, of course, well, a big star like yourself. You're an arbiter of style. I mean, you would dictate. Well, I mean, what, what do you think? What do you think of the way I dress? <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's have a look at the jacket. Hmm. I think threads is a very good way of putting it. <laughs> you look like the kind of guy that probably uses garters with his knee socks. <laughs> and looking at your build, build, big fella, I think for holiday wear, and I'm a bit of an expert in this, a nice pair of long, baggy shorts would suit you down to the ground. In fact, they'd probably reach the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, big fella. Again, my petite joke. <laughs> I wasn't being funny tell me old son. You see, as you said earlier, I've given lots of advice on clothes, and people have taken it. I mean, they're schmucks, let's face it. <laughs> They've walked around in baggy shorts and flip-flops, and I love to see it. I also enjoy a good laugh. What about... <laughs> what about the jargon? We're having a nice time, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What about this jargon that you use? You think I should use some of that in my show? Like, you know, cut in my strut and stuff like that? Ah, yeah. i.e., something like this. <laughs> now, let's see your strut, big fella. See if it needs any... Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of ten. No, I, you know, it's not exactly John Travolta's pep in your step, more kind of a burn up in the turn up. <laughs> okay, well, what about your knees? I often get compliments on my knees. Frankly, that doesn't look as if there's an awful lot going on below the waistline with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's get our priorities right. It's not the legs, Terry, it's what you wear around them. For example, I wouldn't do anything fancy at this minute because I'm wearing all nylon trousers. Very stylish. But the static is terrible. <laughs> One quick shuffle and I could fuse all the lights in here. <laughs> but I like your strides. They're more of a, how shall we say, right off the top of my head in quotation marks, golf slack, I think. Well, I, I would, I would. However, you're a guest here. I can't be too rude to you, and anyway, Right. I have my doubts about you. You're a keen golf fan, though, aren't you? I've heard you extol the virtues of golf on your show. Huh? Well, you know, I don't have much time these days for the big G, Terry. I'm so much in demand. And to play regularly and look the part, but with side bets and green fees, you gotta be top of the earnings league. You gotta be rolling in money to play golf. I believe uh, you play quite a lot, Terry? No! <laughs> play a little bit, uh, you know, just puttering about the old fairway from time to time, you know, Max. Well, I'll be honest, I do whack the occasional ball round to break the odd course record, you know, nothing special. Yeah, do you know, do you need a computerized fairway, though, you being a computerized TV presenter? Ha ha, I won't take that as the personal dig I'm sure it was meant to be. <laughs> no, I think you've got the wrong end of the old club there, big fella. I mean, some people say my swing is so perfect it does look computerized, but no, I learnt my golf from watching the master. Sevi. Belisarius. So you do actually bend the knee to some master, eh? Well, <laughs> Sevy. Well, I've got a life-size poster on my wall. <laughs> but I think I could help him with his game. And I only wish I had the time to. If it was in my hands, I would. But I haven't got any. Hands <laughs> <laughs> Max, it's been a real joy to talk to you. And I, I think, to be honest, I, I've learned a little. Perhaps a great deal from you. Thank you for taking the time out from a busy schedule to join us. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Headroom. <laughs>